Mum, uh, can I borrow the keys for the car? I just, well, it's getting a bit late and uh, Louise needs to be heading round. Oh, don't worry about that, son. She can stay the night. But we haven't enough room. You don't have to say anything, son. She can sleep in your room. Your old mum doesn't mind. Well, that's really kind of you, Mrs Collins, but I, I really must be going. Now, come on. We're all grown up here. You're sleeping with Johnny and that's fine. Mum? <laughs> now, don't worry about me. You can make as much noise as you like. I can sleep through anything. <laughs> Squeaking springs aren't going to keep me awake, eh? Mum? Not there with much noise coming from under your mattress, eh, Johnny? Not with all those porn mag stuff under there. <laughs> I take a walk sometimes. I'm telling you, Louise, there must be about a hundred of them under his bed. Pigs and knickers is his favourite. Isn't it, son? Oh, by the way, Hen, you're not a squealer, are you? You don't scream to the high heavens when you're bare bum boxing, do you? Because mm. Johnny's an awful grunter. And you love. Of course, you'll know that, dear. But you ought to have heard him with his last girlfriend. It was like there was a warthog in his room. <laughs> oh, he takes after his father, so he does. Hung like nobody's business. Oh, frightening he is. I bet you don't know whether to play with it or give it a donut, eh? <laughs> Well, I'm off to bed. I think that's all the stuffing I can manage for one night. <laughs> and you two have fun. And remember, I've marked that jar of chocolate spread, so I'll know if it's been touched. <laughs> I'll get you a taxi.